Well, on the Senator McCain has proposed uh, extending the 2001-2003 uh, tax cut plans that would keep uh, the uh, uh, individual income tax rates where they are today, the corporate tax rate uh, where it is today, and uh, really extend uh, uh, some important tax savings to uh, working families. Uh, on Senator Obama has proposed uh, ending those uh, tax cuts, uh, which would raise uh, uh, taxes uh, extensively on the American public. Uh, the uh, the tax cuts have uh, had two uh, uh, positive effects on the economy. Uh, one, it saved uh, taxpayers trillions of dollars. Uh, that has helped uh, spur economic growth and job creation. Uh, doing away with those uh, tax cuts that are now scheduled to expire at the end of uh, 2010 would uh, pretty significantly increase uh, the tax burden on uh, working uh, families and we believe would have a detrimental impact on uh, economic growth at a time when we need more jobs and uh, uh, more uh, uh, economic expansion uh, to help uh, uh, solve the budget deficit and the current uh, financial uh, mess that we uh, see that we have today. But, uh, I don't think that uh, works out in the end run. Uh, the tax cuts that were enacted uh, in 2001 and 2003 took a large number of uh, people off the tax rolls and I don't know and understand how uh, they can just uh, raise taxes on a few people and that won't have an impact uh, across the board. Well, on the tax side, uh, I think it's important to look at lower taxes, fundamental tax reform. Uh, it's really also on the spending side. Uh, we see a dramatic difference between the two presidential candidates uh, when it comes to spending. According to the National Taxpayers Union, our group, uh, we estimate that uh, Senator Obama's uh, platform would increase spending uh, by $380 billion per year. Senator McCain has some additional spending in his platform, but it, uh, we estimate that at $80 billion. Uh, Senator McCain is also uh, looking at uh, uh, fighting uh, um, increased spending, ending earmarks, uh, and implementing some fiscal discipline reforms like the line item veto. We think that's very important for the uh, future of this country and something that would uh, go a long way toward bringing fiscal discipline back to uh, the federal budget process.